Which people influence your decisions the most? Elizabeth Nethery credits one of her grade 12 teachers. Although English was her best subject, her teacher encouraged Elizabeth to pursue an engineering education. It's a decision she's never regretted. With a degree in physics engineering, Elizabeth earns a good salary and enjoys a high level of job satisfaction. She helps people regain the use of their limbs with prosthetics. I work as a product support engineer in a small company called Warren Research. We're involved with computer automated systems for people who work in prosthetics and orthotics and also people who work making custom footwear and custom orthotics. The process involved here is we use a digitizer to digitize uh, like a stump of an amputee or a torso, so somebody with a twisted spine. You do corrections for that using what's called a body jacket. So what we'll do is we'll scan a person's shape using a scanner and then after that, we'll take that shape into software so there'll be a three-dimensional representation of the shape and we'll do modifications and then output from software a three-dimensional representation of a shape or a human body. And then in a foam block, we'll carve a positive model on a milling machine. Then using that model, a prosthetist will actually go in and make a brace, so an orthotic, to correct something or they'll make a prosthetic, which is actually a fake leg or something like that. What we do here is we try to give people who are working in a traditional industry tools which allow them to be more consistent and to be a little bit more efficient. And is it optimized for these light conditions? The way people do it now is they actually do it all by hand. So you cast somebody and then you use plaster and you pour plaster in and you break the cast off and it's quite labor intensive. Excellent, sounds good, so let's do a scan. To do it well, you really have to be experienced and there's a lot of art to it. So what we're doing here is trying to put technology to use in this field. So we're using very high-tech tools which allow people to do the scanning who aren't skilled clinicians in that field and to make it more accessible to a wider population because it reduces the cost and it reduces the cost of the skilled labor involved. What about the toe area? Looks good to me. Yeah, and we got the nice arch definition there. 